So the Elephant's been here for 12 years. Uh, it's a two-tier restaurant. So we've got, on the ground floor, we've got a 60 cover brasserie serving simpler style dishes, but very modern in, in its um, style. Uh, then upstairs, we have our fine dining restaurant, which is Michelin starred. And at the present, we're doing the tasting menu only. Um, pretty much all our produce comes from our own farm. So we've got a, a 96 acre farm in Brixham, which we try to be as much sustainable as possible from that produce. I entered the Kickham and Masters competition way back when I was a lot younger. Uh, it was a premier competition at the time. It was held at Hotel Olympia. It was something that I wanted to win. There was a lot of uh, very good competitors that had won it previously and were also in the year that I was competing. As you know, I've done a lot of competitions. Uh, I've won a lot, I've lost a lot, but uh, for me, competitions, I think, adds a lot, not only to your CV, but also to your own um, ego in some senses, but also gives a lot of PR to your business. For us, never being in London, never having a PR company behind us, it was something that gave us a free boost uh, into the papers and also got my name out there. Being in Torquay, it, it got people to see me in London, in Scotland, even across, across the water in the US. Well, Kickerman Masters is one of those competitions that uh, is up there with all the premier competitions to enter and to win, mainly because it's got a fantastic prize. Uh, most chefs won't get the chance to go to Japan, and the prize to go to Japan and visit restaurants, see the markets, see the culture, see the food, is just something that most young chefs, even older chefs, probably wouldn't have been able to afford or be able to do. I think pretty much any chef should enter the Kickerman Masters, never mind it being young. Um, I, I think really it's there to be able to do a competition, to compete against other people and also for that prize to get out to Japan and see the different styles, the different cultures, to see classical Japanese food and see where now chefs are really drawing uh, ingredient ideas from. Well, one, one of the big barriers that we have with Kikum and Soy Sauce is European chefs think that it's only there for stir fries. They think that we just want to throw a few drops in at the end. What I use kicking the soy sauce for is really, it's a seasoning. So I'm using it to add umami to dishes, to add flavor, to bring dishes to life. It's that li little drop of flavor. We're not overpowering things with kicking and soy sauce. We're adding, we're boosting to it. It's, it's just a natural flavor that we can get into dishes. So the British dishes, we'd add some to cottage pie, shepherd's pie, we'll stick some in your burgers if you want to. It's, it's a fantastic savory additive. Well, what I'm looking for the Kickman Masters this year is I want to see real style, style over substance. I want to see the chefs using the Kickman soy in a way that I would like to, to eat it. I don't want it to be swamped in Kickman soy. I want it to be just a nice little flavour, nice little nod to their style of cuisine, nice nod to British cuisine, but also just something that's subtle, simple and flavourful.